Hi, my name's Andy Freeman. I work with Space to Breathe, and this is Shush. We're doing a special meditation for Greenbelt Wild at Home series, and we wanted to theme this around an ancient Celtic word called Kumbrogi. Kumbrogis are companions of the heart, and we want to reflect on the sense of connection and disconnection we feel as part of the Greenbelt family right now. The sense of being distant and yet being close and together with those that we care about and that we love that we see each August at Broughton Park. And uh, we're just going to spend 15 minutes creating some space. So this is going to be a meditation that's very easy to follow. There'll be times where there's little space for you to reflect, but you can also pause the video and do that. And we just want to give you some ideas to think about, some ponder about, to ponder about and reflect on. So why don't you start by getting comfortable doing this outside at twilight. I don't know why, but twilight is a time that reminds me of the festival. I just want you to take in your surroundings where you are at this moment and just settle yourself. Find a sense of calm, serenity, balance peace. Maybe imagine somewhere that's calm for you. For me that's always the sea. So I'm going to imagine just for a moment the waves gently lapping on the beach and Little Stone near where my parents used to live in Kent. Take a moment to reflect to use whatever place you're thinking of just to still yourself. Right now for the next 15 minutes nothing needs to get in the way of you being at peace. The urgent stuff can wait. The things that are weighing on you can be put on hold just for a little while and you can take some time to be still. So just settle yourself like those waves just lapping gently on the shore. Take some time to be calm. And to be still. Kumbrogi is one of the Celtic words that was used for community and it literally means companions of the heart. It's like a connection, a soul friends, a sense of bond that is with you whether you're with the person or not. And it expresses that desire that we have to be together. Stanley Halvas says saints cannot be, cannot exist without community. Saints cannot exist without community. We know that we need each other. And you probably find, if you're a regular at Greenbelt or you've been to the Greenbelt Festival and you've enjoyed it, that sense of Combrogi, of companions, and the festival site and the Jesus arms, the communion on a Sunday, with the different vibes and feelings of the, the festival in music, in comedy or poetry, listening to a, a talk that inspires you, hearing somebody's story. And it was funny that the, um, if you remember the Queen's message a few weeks ago, she mentioned that phrase, we'll meet again, and that came to mind as I was planning this. That there's something about the essence of Crombrogia which also longs to be physically together and knows that we will. I can think of the people I know that I associate with Greenbelt and I feel the bond with them in my heart that 
knowing that there's a connection to take place again as we're together physically. Whether it's around a campfire or whether it's around a meal table, whether it's around a bench, or whether it's together sitting in a field, reminiscing on what's happened in a crazy last year as we meet next year in 2021. This disconnection will end, but in this disconnection we are also still together. We're together by the things that we believe in, that we share with the Green Belt Festival. A sense of commitment to social justice, the spirit of inclusion, and the knowledge that the arts and creativity gives us a language that can change the world, literally. And we've met many people at Green Belt that's, that's exemplified that. I have a feeling that whatever comes in this new normal after whatever's happening now with coronavirus, we're going to need the arts more than ever as a way of expressing joy and pain and lament and the gratefulness that we have when we get back together again. Margaret Wheatley said this, there is no power for change greater than a community that discovers what it cares about. So what is it that you care about? And even as we're disconnected and absent, what can we do about that right now? How can we live out those wild at heart values of the Greenbelt Festival where we are? What is it that you're attracted to about the values of the Greenbelt family that we can live out while separate? How can we be inclusive? Can we campaign for the rights of those who are marginalised, exploited, forgotten? How can we express creatively our passion for the world around us, for the people that we care about, our spirituality? There is no power for change greater than a community that, it dis that discovers what it cares about. What do we care about? binds us to our companions of the heart. There's an African proverb that goes like this. If we want to go quickly, go alone. If we want to go far, go together. When I read that, I sense that I want to go far. I want the impact of the things that I care about and I give my time to, to go deeper, further. That I'm not so worried about what happens in five minutes, but I am bothered about what happens in five years, five generations. And again, many of you watching this will have been in the Greenbelt family for a long time and have seen changes taking place. Will have seen anti-apartheid activists come to the festival and now apartheid is a thing of the past. They will have seen campaigners for women bishops in the Church of England and now we have women bishops in the Church of England. Change can happen over time when we commit together to go far. So we're just going to give some time again just to reflect and I want you to think about what it is that connects you to the Greenfield family, what you really care about, that they share, and that your companions of the heart, who you meet every August or you see throughout the year, care about too. If we want to go quickly, go alone. If we want to go far, go together.
This is a poem called The Gentle Rhythm of Togetherness. The Gentle Rhythm of Togetherness. We are gathered, together we become more, we add, not subtract, we are a force. This is the beauty of shared lives, faces familiar, faces new, lives that carry joy, others that carry the pain. Together we carry that load and we listen to the gentle rhythm of togetherness. We are gathered, witnesses, to the true value of family. Tonight we are brothers and sisters. We beat with the blood of community. We share, we connect, we love. A symbiosis of subtlety, not the loss of me, but the gain of you. We are rich and together we are loved and we listen to the gentle rhythm of togetherness. We are gathered, speaking God words in kind action, our cadence flows like rhythm. We surround each other, dancing to the music of our souls. We belong. Here in that moment of communion, we are more than you and me. Together we are welcomed and we listen to the gentle rhythm of togetherness. To the gentle rhythm of togetherness. I um, was reflecting as I'm preparing this uh, meditation just how moving I've actually found doing this, how Greenbelt in a few years of Space to Breathe being involved has become such a massive part of my life and the life of those who work around me and with me how sad I feel that it's not going to happen this summer, but how hopeful I feel about the future. But it's also reminded me of all those values, all the things that Greenbelt stands for that I believe in too. And that mix of joy and lament, of sadness but expectation, is where I wanted to finish this meditation. I want to encourage you to find a metaphor, a picture, something maybe in the natural world or in your house or your kitchen, whatever you can find that speaks to you of that. I found a metronome. And just as it ticks, it reminds me of just that heartbeat. The heartbeat of the Greenbelt Festival that for me goes throughout the year. He hearing Pussy Riot share a few years ago and how that stayed with me. 12 months and more. The friendships that I've made that stick with me throughout the year. It kind of beats with me. It helps me. I find hope in it. So just as this metronome plays, just to finish this meditation, find a metaphor, think of a metaphor, find something in your room, pause the video and go and pick something up reflect on how you feel or reflect now and go and find something that you can take with you for a little while. I'm going to stick this in my bag for a few weeks. Just have it with me as I'm working at home or just around the place. Have it to remind me. Stick it on occasionally. And remember that we are disconnected right now. We're absent right now but we are also companions of the heart. We're also together. so much for watching we hope you are well wherever you are that life is treating you as well as it can be we're thinking of you and take care of yourself enjoy all the rest of the stuff the world at home stuff that's going to be on Greenbelt's website and thanks to everyone that's putting that together and it's been a real pleasure to be a part of it and we hope wherever you are you'll take care of yourself and we look forward to seeing you soon take care see you bye bye